So MIC, mm. th- this is this is the order you joined mm-hmm. right from the get go. Huh? Yep. So I don't think I ever really heard heard of them until I started seeing some of the books you, right. you and other priests are putting out. Right. How did you first encounter them? Oh, this is hilarious. So I didn't know what to do with my discernment, right? So I just knew I loved Our Lady. She brought me to Jesus. So I'm like, well, that's some priests, cool. But I don't know. I just think I want to be like super Marian. Mm. So there was this book. I think it still is around. You can send in postcards to religious communities. You lick a stamp, you know, and you get information back. So I, I sent in so many, got stacks of information back. So all I was like, I, I was overwhelmed. I said, all right, I love Our Lady. Anyone that's got Mary's name in the title, right? Tons of those. <laughs> so I was like, that didn't help much. So yeah. I said, all right, let's see what else. So I looked at one and it said this, the technical name now, the Congregation of Marian Fathers of the Immaculate Conception of the Most Blessed Virgin Mary, three times. <laughs> so I was like, cha-ching, right? That's the one, okay, baby. Yeah. I didn't know nothing about them. Thank God they weren't and, some liberal cray-cray. And this cray-cray, is, this you is know? them. Yeah, yeah. That's Did the you one. see how little I know? <laughs> you really don't know I much. really started in <laughs> zero work before my interviews. You were a priest. Wow. <laughs> Wow, yeah, you're not kidding, man. Wow, that's very Marian. Okay. Yeah. So I went, I visited them, and they were awesome. I was like, these guys love Our Lady, and they spread divine mercy. I'm mm. like the poster child for divine mercy, right? <laughs> so they somewhat reluctantly said, yeah, with my past, you know, they mm. were like, if we do accept you, it's going to be a very long formation. And it was 10 years it took mm. me. and But I needed that. I, I definitely needed it. So, yeah, um, God provided complete providence for that because... Mm. Unfortunately, I mean, there are a lot of communities that are you know, very left, very crazy mm. with what they're pushing. I would have never made it in one of those. So mm. thanks be to God. Yeah. yeah, especially maybe it feels like it's less so, does it? What? Does it? Uh, liberal kind of uh, religious communities than maybe no, back in the bro, 80s and 90s? I think so. no? not, not, not my experience. Yeah. yeah. Sadly. Well, yeah. maybe put, to put it a different way, I don't know many Catholics are being drawn to mm. religious orders that are left leaning. That is true. Mm. Yeah. Thanks be to God. They're all kind yeah. of dying out. Yeah. I was really attracted to the Friars of the Renewal. I saw a picture of a friar in a World Youth Day Canada book. Yeah. And I'm like, he just looks so cool. I know. Totally. You know, and I just wanted to join them. Yeah. And there were so many Franciscan communities that it took me a while to find them, but I went and stayed with them and stuff yeah. like that. But yeah. I remember a Capuchin saying to me once, and it was really helpful advice. He said, don't be afraid if you feel you're being drawn to a religious community for superficial reasons. Mm-hmm. He's like, the reason people are drawn to women is usually for superficial reasons, but mm. you want that to develop. Right on. That really helped me because I was yeah. afraid. I just want to look cool. I want to grow a beard and wear that thing. Right. But I, I thought that was great advice. Yeah, and that's brilliant advice, actually. Um, I mean... If I could join another religious community, um, CFRs are awesome. I love them, right? Like mm. straight out of Lord of the Rings stuff, you know, the look. Love yeah. that look. Um, but the, my favorite habit of all habits is the Dominican habit. Is it? Right. Mm. When they're decked out with that. Yeah. The black thing. Yeah, man. I mean, it's yeah. like Inquisition is on, baby. You know, I mean, it just looks awesome. You know, where's your horse and spear? You know, it's just awesome. Yeah. Um, but it's a superficial thing, but it's awesome. Yeah. Right? And it, it's called to de- something deeper. So, yeah, I like yeah. that. So I just mm. kind of throw that out there for those l- listening who, who might even be afraid to acknowledge that the reason they're finding themselves drawn to religious orders for those superficial reasons, because it feels kind of superficial, but to, yeah, to let that develop. All right. Yeah. yeah. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment below, letting us know what you thought about the video.